Hey guys, welcome back. Kion here, playing more Tales of Zestiria. When we last left off, a few questions raised. Who are the Seraphim? Who are the Shepherds? Why the hell am I on a ruin in a flying island? And why does my granddad smoke weed? All of these questions were sure to be answered, but first we need to actually uh, progress. Looks as if we're in our first explorable area. I've turned the music volume down because, my God, it was hard to listen to. Is that a monolith? I believe it is. Difficulty sayings. Don't really need to know much about that. Any new? We finally made it back to Alicia. Alicia. Let's see now. Today we managed to fall into a pit, encounter Hellions for the first time, meet an Earth Dweller. Did I miss anything? Yeah, Hellions seem to be the bad guys that come from the Malevolence, I think it was called. Can only be killed by something called Purification, whatever that is. Is anything wrong? No, I'm just taking it back. I never imagined the ruins would lead me to such a place. Mysterious girl we picked up in the ruins in the last episode. Don't know her name as of yet. Is there a map? Oh, there is a map. Okay. So, the village is there. Quite a large area. Oh, that's Gramps' house. And my house. Alicia, home of the Seraphim. So yeah, I still don't understand why Miklio, who's a Seraphim, can't be seen by this girl that we're with. Ice pop. Snacks, okay. Quite a pretty game. I don't know how quickly this game will progress. Though, it is an RPG after all. So I'm not looking for this to uh, go at any sort of fast pace. I'm going to try and explore everything I can, not rush through the game and get stuck in a point where I can't actually progress because I forgot to do something. So, uh, is the Celestial Record a children's book? Hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it, too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, looks like someone's enjoying himself. This is my village. Alicia. So it's not Camlon, but Alicia, then. And the rumors were false after all. Hmm. What do you mean this is your village? I don't see your village. Why are you lying to me, Saray? The village is up there. But what are those creatures? What do you mean, creatures? They're goats. Goats? Those are... are they usually this big? Yeah. The size of them. Discovery point, Highland goats. Conversation. The best horns, just like the dragons of legend. <laughs> what, like in fairy tales? You're something else. Don't go near it. There's no telling how dangerous untamed beasts like those are. Ah, don't worry. We're friends. Oh, well, mostly. They did kick me four or five times when I was little. <laughs> Your friends? Yep. Sometimes they give me milk, and I make cheese and yogurt with everyone. The mark of true friendship. Yeah, it's the best. The one thing I don't know is, like, for example, that, when new conversation... Conversations can become available. What's the glam face, M Miklio? I just hope you know what you're doing, that's all. Oh, you're such a sport sport, man. Look at her, she's awesome. So you read the Celestial Record too? Ha! <laughs> I can see that your copies has been well used. Just how many times have you read it? I would love to answer that question. Because personally, I haven't read it once. Uh, what's down here? Apparently there's nothing and I c Oh! There's a save point, but that's about it. 
Let's go into the village. I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by afterwards? Yeah. What was that weird aura thing that happened when they walked through? Hey everyone, got someone to introduce to you. This is my family, living here at the shrine. That's one hell of a family. Is this, uh, some kind of performance piece? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, man, I sure hope Miklio's chat with Gramps went over well. Why can't she see them? He's obviously human too, but he can see them all. I'm guessing they're all Seraphim. Get it, don't you, Sore? We're invisible to humans. Just the fact that you can live alongside us like this makes you pretty special. So he quite clearly has some sort of innate ability. Saray, I know I keep saying it, but you've got to be careful with those Hellions. You might be able to drive them off, but you can't do away with them for good. It's a pity, but we Seraphim don't have the power to purify them. At least the uh, conversation bubbles change so that you know you're uh, going to be repeating the same chat. I hate to be the one to say this, but you should send her back as quickly as possible. It's the best thing for everyone concerned. Wow, man, everyone's a proper Debbie Downer. What is the issue with humans? With the Seraphim? So you're off scouting about those ruins with Miklio again, and bringing a human girl back with you too. She must be your greatest find yet, no? <laughs> Maybe? Could that girl be a knight? A knight's purpose is to fight. Are we safe having her around? Mm, possibly. She looks like a knight to me. Well, she's here already. What's done is done, but you ought, you probably ought to cut back on your ruin adventures for a bit. That ruin, let's just say it goes deeper than you might ever imagine. How natural and untouched a place. I never imagined such a dwelling still existed in this world. Well, I'd like to know what's left of the world because we're in the sky. So what's the ground like? Hey, you felt that too, right? A disturbance in Gramps' domain? Or maybe I'm just imagining things. No, I'm pretty sure that must have been that aura. A Bavaro performance aura. A soray, sorry. I suppose that's how it would appear to most humans, isn't it? <laughs> Human girl and Alicia, huh? It's the biggest thing to happen here since Gramps turned up that here with baby Saray and Miklio. So me and Niklio have been together since childhood. Interesting. Rabana boosts defense by two, reducing physical damage from foes. Couldn't care a jot about a human with no resonance. She can't see us, and soon enough she'll leave. Aren't I right? Mm, I doubt that somehow. Natural waistcoat. Can be performed by both I and Miklio. An additional skill. Why not?
and the other uh, Debbie Downer conversations. Mickley, I went in looking pretty troubled, but don't let it get to you. Me and Gramps have best interests at heart. You know that, right? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I wonder how long it's been since I saw a human other than Saray. Just a couple of hundred years. I just hope this isn't a bad omen. A couple of hundred years? So, the Seraphim age really slowly then? I guess? So many questions. I saw a terrifying flash of lightning over by the ruins. Were you hurt at all? Nope. I was cool as a cucumber. And I'll let you hear the rest from Soray himself. I reckon I'll have to. Smoking that wee pipe again, Gramps. You idiots! Hi, Gramps. I'm back. How could you bring a human into our domain? Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Soray's side of the story, too? That's just what I'm about to do. You know full well the rules, Soray. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. Her kind is sure to bring nothing but trouble to our domain. But I'm her kind too, you know. You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Normal humans have no such capacity. You should understand that more than anyone else. Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. But Gramps, this is the first time Soray's ever met a fellow human. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, she has no business in this realm. Uh... I have raised both of you as my own since you were but babes, all the while doing my best to protect this land. And for that I am grateful. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysia. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. Yes. That's some pretty strict rules. And it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. Gramps. I know, I know, McLeo. He means well, in all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him. I feel bad for this guy, though. Like, he hasn't met... Well, it sounds like he hasn't met a single human since he's been born. He finally gets to meet one, and they're just gonna cast her away. It's like everyone wants to have new chats with me. Even when you've been staring at the same scenery for a thousand years, it can startle you with its beauty. Alright, so you don't live for hundreds of years, you live for thousands. Jesus Christ! You know, Saray, Elysia is an untainted and glorious place, but the land below is a different story. So I'm guessing this malevolence took over... the... Earth realm, I guess I'm gonna call it, the realm of the humans, and these guys don't want it to happen to them. So they think the humans are some sort of bearers of the curse. Can you believe it? The land below is so steeped in malevolence, their rivers and springs are too poisoned to drink from. It sure sounds like a different world compared to here in Elysia. You just proved my point exactly. Gramps Thunder is something special, isn't it? I heard a great boom all the way from over here. So about that girl, is she your type, Saray? Someone's jealous. I... I... Oh, I can't speak to you. It's in times of peace when you should be training yourself to prepare for disasters. You never know when one might come along after all. True. Oh, the wrong button. It's 
Sorry, are you training yourself up? What are you doing? You sure like you're brimming with power and energy. Is it that you fought something in the ruins? I fought many things. She sure is pretty. I understand you want to be friends with her, but still. Oh, I don't understand what the problem is. If she was bad, something bad would have happened already, surely. So you found that girl somewhere in the ruins, huh? I wonder what she was doing there. Hmm, that is a good question. At the bottom of the mountain is a human's capital city. I imagine she must have come from there. Also, there are cities up here in... wherever this is? Come on, Saray, forget about entertaining that guest of yours and come prickle boar hunting with me. Nah, I'd rather go on an adventure. A real adventure. I don't like the idea of keeping watch on her, but I don't want to, I don't see that I have much of choice. My first priority is keeping Alicia safe. It doesn't look like she has any ill intent towards us. But the most disturbing thing about humans is they never you never know if someone's a scoundrel just from their appearance. She's been making a huge fuss about all the nature and the landscape like they're somehow extraordinary. Strange girl, you ask me. Well we don't know where she's come from. Let's quickly save. Sorry, would you mind if I stayed a little longer? Mm, I'd like you to. I've always dreamed of a place like this, a dazzling landscape, like something out of a fairy tale. Well, it's not really up to me, it seems. Wait for her in your room! Yeah, go on in. You convinced me. Hey. You're not the girl. Ah, it's the glove. Hey, wow. Is this crest what I think it is? Yep. This is the mark of the shepherd. I knew it. The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim, controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The shepherd. <laughs> Sound like your kind of thing? Maybe. I always thought that Mankind's Savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Be silent, Seraph Beast! I shall not. Hmm. <laughs> Excavated relics aren't play toys. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. You're the only human here, Saray. She can't see us, so I'd imagine she thinks you're mighty weird. I suggest you do what you can not to act suspicious or make her nervous. Though I imagine she's plenty discombobulated already. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Guy invites you back to his village. The village is completely empty. And he says he has a massive family. Just a little bit odd. Okay. I am not going to talk to all these people again. I'd rather actually progress the story. Just, just a, just a tad. Can I talk to you? There we go. Enjoy yourself? I sure did. But it's weird. I felt like I was being watched the whole time. Uh, uh. Shall we eat? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to faint. Let's head to my place. I'll fix you up something good. Gosh, I hope we didn't worry him. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Welcome in. She's not even eating. Hey. Hmm? So then, what's your hometown like? Well, I'm from the capital, Lady Lake, in the Kingdom of Highland. Lady Lake? Like in the Legend of the Sacred Blade? You've heard of it? It was in the Celestial Record. The legend says the Lady of the Lake guards the Sacred Blade, and the one who draws it becomes the Shepherd, right? Yes. 
It was a lively and bustling town, blessed with bountiful water, rich in festivals and fine drink. Wait, was? Well, it used to be. Things must be hard for folks in the world below. Below? The land that lies beneath the mountaintops. I've never left home before. You've always lived here by yourself? Sounds to me like you're the one who's had it rough. <laughs> oh, let me help you get ready for your return trip tomorrow. You need anything? Bread, rations, stuff like that? That'd be great. If you have any tools or a sleeping bag, it'd be great too. Gotcha. Well then, first we'll need to do some hunting. I'll be your guide tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. We still don't know her name. Good morning. Good morning. Come on! Hurry it up, Mikleo. We ain't got time to mess around. Yeah, I'll leave in a moment. <sighs> Gramps gave me all kinds of things to take care of. I'm gonna be pretty swamped for a while. Bummer. Well, don't you worry about me, at least. So, Ray, Gramps only wants... Yeah, I know. Mikleo! Maybe later. She must genuinely think he's a psychopath. <laughs> Good morning. You sleep okay? Yeah, like a log. Been ages since I've done that. All right then, shall we? The prickle boars lurk to the left of the entry gate. It's an ideal hunting place. Got it. Let's go do some mother trucking hunting. Quickly see if they've got anything decent to say. I'm really sorry, Saray. I'd like to help, but she can't see us. We'd only startle her. Is she from the capital? Yes, she is. If she is, you need to pass on all the wisdom we shared with you about nature, Saray. What? Why is everyone suddenly being nice to her? Don't worry, she'll be fine in your hands, Saray. After all, you were the one who brought her here, so you forced you to look after her. Oh, cheers. I think that's also to do with the fact that she can't see any of you. Those are prickle balls. I think I see a prickle ball in the distance. My point of interest is here. There's a prickle ball. So that's one, huh? Their meat is easy to preserve when smoked and super tasty. And the skin has all kinds of uses too. I almost feel sorry for it. Wanna leave? No, my spirit is prepared. Besides, I can't get this sort of experience back home. Okay. Here we go! Your ass is grass! <laughs> hey, pretty smooth move. Thank you. You're rather capable yourself. Not yet. Yeah. That's that. Destroyed. Okay. Eating board tonight. Guess we need a few more. I don't see any around. You'll find him if you look. I need more tasty meat. Give me your meat, delicious pig. That's that. How many we got destroy? Mission objective. Make the prickle balls extinct. Mission accepted. Focus. 
focus, guys. Yeah, be gone. No stick. Help this. Go. Never. Strike. It's over. Ha. 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 All right. Ha. Yeah. That's that. I'm like a gazillion height now. How many more do you need? Jesus. Calm down, son. I am ready. Ha! Ready? No escape. Ready? Hmm. I think we've hunted enough. So now, what shall we do? Don't worry. I'll teach you how to make jerky and bags and sleeping gear out of it. I am truly in your debt, Saray. Let's head home for the I think day. she's digging on him. I just realized we haven't actually applied any of those AP points to... Is it our arts? No. Support talents? No. Battle actions. Auto guarding, auto back step, auto front step, auto side step. So many things to do. Support talents, like, what the fuck? Snack preparation. Characters will prepare snacks for the party at regular intervals. Okay. Alright, so at the moment he's got his point of interest. What have you got? Remedy preparation. Recreate. Previously discovered gels and bottles. Sweet! I wonder if we gave her that glove. Hey, how far is it to Lady Lake? If she would be able to see the Let's seraphim. See. I expect about two or three days. Really? I had no idea it was so close. But the forest at the base of the mountain is surprisingly easy to get lost in. Must be the power of Gramps' domain. She has no idea what Gramps' domain is. Save again. Gonna save that game. Saray? Oh, did I wake you? Sorry about that. You're sure into that book, aren't you? I've read it countless times since my childhood. One day, I want to explore ruins all over the world. Everyone who's read the Celestial Records says that, and I'm no exception. But sadly, now is not the time for some jaunt around the world. For several years now, the world has been plunged into a nigh incomprehensible state of chaos. Chaos? Mysterious illnesses, incessant storms, people bursting into flames. There are those that say, even the dead have begun to walk the earth again. Whoa, hang on. What are you talking about? You don't believe me? Or you think this is a joke? No, I... The situation is beyond grave. Huh? The chaos has caused abnormal climate changes all over the world. As a result, we are on the verge of enduring widespread crop death, famine, and starvation. And worst of all, are the rumors of governments planning to replenish their dwindling resources through war. It mustn't come to that. 
Can nothing be done? Who knows? There's nothing to hang on to but legends. Which is why you... No, never mind. I won't ask. I think I'm gonna just hit the hay here myself. Sleep well. Good morning. Good morning. You ready to get to work? We gotta make those rations and bags from the prickle boars we hunted yesterday. You got it. <laughs> Afraid it isn't exactly super fun, though. Well, let me know when you're ready to start. Right. I think I might leave this episode here. It's a bit of a slow start, but... Let's give it some time and see where Tales of Zestiria takes us. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.